Oh. Hey guys, Hi. We're, we're alive. It's Derek and Anna. Today we're coming to you from Nagani, outside Nagani, Michigan, on the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Mm -hmm. Near Marquette. Yeah. If you know the UP. We're at 65 degrees. In August. It feels so good. That's why I'm not in, look at me, I'm not in a workout shirt today. <laughs> Anna's actually in a sweater. Yes, sweater. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Burr. Why did you just lift your armpits? Like you because it's to... long sleeve. I thought you were trying to. Have no, smell it's your not armpits. about deodorant. Today is not, not about deodorant. That was last week. That was last okay, week. so okay. we're on vacation. Yes. Um, this is one of Anna. I guess you grew up in Marquette. Really? I did. I was born and raised here. Um, well, raised here and also raised in Texas. Um, my dad's from Michigan. Mom's from Texas. So we kind of split our time. But we left. We lived here permanently until I was in first grade and then moved to Texas. But then we kept a house up here and went back for the summer because that's the way to go. That is the way to go. <laughs> yeah. So we're oh. here and Anna's got a story to tell you about this place. Yep. So um, this is a little video about um, real estate and a touch of faith. So it's not religious, um, but if that's your thing, feel free to insert whatever noun works for you. Um, but so my dad was looking for a cabin He's 100% Finnish, and if you know Finnish or Scandinavian culture, you know that they always have cap camps, you right? Have to, you have to have a cabin on the lake. Yeah, if you're in Sweden or Nor Norway or, or Finland, you're yeah. going to have a cabin on a lake. So in the Upper Peninsula, very much how it's done, and this is about 15 minutes from the house that I grew up in, um, and my dad bought it in 1970. He saw the cabin, and he was like, he was with his mom and dad, and he said, Mom, Dad, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And um, the guy's name was Harvey Hutela, oh. very, very Finnish. Um, say, and it again, say it again. Harvey Hutela. 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 Um, that's a fun one to say. By the way, my arm is getting tired. I know. My, when, okay, so we already shot a video, and it was so bad because well, Jack was crying Jack and all of it. Jack didn't like the video. We didn't get rid of Jack, but we did delegate him to somebody yeah. else. He's okay. With Chris. So. Okay, so. Um, Harvey doesn't want to sell gonna, it. I'm just going to bring Harvey this doesn't want to sell it. A year, like six months goes by and um, he, mess he not messages, he tells my grandfather, hey, you know, if your son's still interested in my cabin, I'm interested in selling it. And um, he says he wants, you know, $5,000 for it. And dad goes, shows up the next day with cash, ready to buy it. And he's like, you know, I was thinking, Ron, um, it's really not more, worth more, a penny over $4,000. So he buys it for four grand cash, which is amazing. Um, and the point isn't, isn't that, that it's like a steal of a century. Um, it's more that the land was actually owned by the electric company. Yes. So everybody that this had is, this cabins- is a, This is a this dammed is a, river, a dammed hydroelectric river. Uh, dam. Yeah. So the electric company owns all the land around this lake. Mm -hmm. And they were actually, you had, to, you had to lease it from the electric company for $50 a year. Yeah. That was the rent, fifty dollars a year. Well, you didn't own the land, but they could take it. In how many days? With thirty days notice, they could take your land, your house, everything. Take so, it. so my dad has this cabin. My mom and dad have this cabin. We grew up playing here, and then when we moved down to Texas, I think around that time, my my parents built a big permanent home. Oh wait, we this could... is the original cabin. Yeah, so this is the original cabin. Sorry if you get a little seasick watching this. That's the original cabin. Which is now a garage. It was like that, like this part of it, right? This but part, it was the location. This part. Yeah. Probably. The the barn part. Yeah. yeah. So anyway. anyway, here's the thing. Then they built this cabin. Yeah. Which is you know not I gotta, huge, I gotta but go over, a back perfect over here. size. It's a two bedroom, one and a half bath. Um, with two screened-in porches, living space, and kitchen. And that exactly. view. That's all you really care about, that, that view. Right? So, but they built it. So my dad sketched it on a napkin, I think, or maybe a piece of paper. I don't know. The story, the folklore go, goes that he sketched it on a napkin and gave it to a friend of his who was an architect and builder. I thought it was a stone tablet. He <laughs> it was in a stone tablet. Um, and he built it for my parents. And then they, the first time they ever saw it was when they showed up. When Which it is in, when, it was when it was finished, right? Which is incredible too. Um, and so the point of this video is that it's really, really important to trust in the process, um, to trust that the the place that you're buying is the right home for you. It's one of those inexplicable things. I mean, we have had people buy our homes very early on in the process, and. Um, I think a big reason that I wanted to shoot these videos every Friday is for people to get to know us and what kind of our ethos is 
and um, and what you can count on in our homes, um, because I think that that is everything, right? Like we do these crazy projects. We have two projects that we just closed on while one of them oh, while yeah. we were driving up here. One of them was gas one of them was north of Green Bay, Wisconsin, at a gas station <laughs> signing paperwork with the notary. Um, yeah, yeah. Because we couldn't close before we left, and so and we couldn't wait until we got back. So we yeah, that was a first. That was crazy. And I played with Jack next to a little river I at a park, and I I changed a blowout diaper is what I did. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's what I meant by playing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Same thing. Anyway, um, so we've got these two projects and sometimes I find myself laying in bed because I'm like, how are we going to do this? Like one of the projects, we are physically moving a house from one location to another, which we have never done. Um, and every... Somebody asked me, well, how do you do that? How do you move a house? I was like, how would I know? We don't know, but we know we can figure it out. Yeah. Okay. So it's like Sesame Street where it's like, I wonder what oh, if, God. I... let's try. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing so that. my point in all of that is to have faith, trust the process. Sorry, this is me switching when my arm gets tired because this, apparently this phone is very heavy. That it's safe to buy homes early on in the process as long as you have faith in what you're doing. Um, a really good contract is a smart idea yeah. and work with people who you trust and you know like who they are in their core. And I think that's why my mom and dad were able to like work with the architect that built this house and they just showed up and unpacked done. all of our stuff. So, and then the electric company never took the house. Oh yeah, they still have it. Yeah. That's true. I, oh, 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 you tell it. Actually, uh, so then they approached, um, I guess- uh, One of the guys. Uh, one of the guys the had the, the idea, Castle like why don't, we, why don't we approach the electric company about buying the land? So they did, the electric company wanted like 4 million for all the land around this lake. It's a pretty good sized lake. It's just yeah. one part of it. Yeah. Um, and they offered them two million, and they took it. So basically, for two million, they bought all the land around the lake, and mm -hmm. then subdivided it all up into the various, you know, where the so cabins we were and stuff. So now, now this is owned, and nobody can ever take it. But um, yes. So let's show them the best part: the sauna. Come down. Oh, we're, are we going? Are we getting in the sauna? That no, could get awkward. Okay. See that. No, we're not getting it. I have to walk backwards here because okay. of the way. Okay, so there's the sauna. These are the. This is the staircase that my dad built. Like. So much of this, the sauna that he built, and then you've got the beautiful. Oh, there you are! I didn't know where you were. Um, There's the sauna. Yeah. And so you sauna. And then you jump in the and river. And then you jump in the, the lake. lake. Yeah. And that water is cold. BTW. It's not that cold. Um, Derek's But it feels it. really good actually. After, Derek's, especially after you sauna. Derek's. A um, speaking of cold, <laughs> it's 65 here. I'm getting a little chilly. I'm gonna have to go put on a sweater. It might be a time for a pumpkin spice latte. I don't know. We're gonna eat some Lake Superior whitefish for dinner. Yeah, and, and, I'm, ne and I'm never coming back. So good luck <laughs> with this project. And we're gonna enjoy this before okay. we get back to Texas. Thanks for joining us guys. Bye everyone. Bye.